Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Attack on Titan, the final season, episode number 14 and 15. Alright, um, in the previous week, the episode was not aired because there was an earthquake in Japan. And like, I think uh, it was something like they were like airing the show. But because of the earthquake, they had to cut uh, and like stop it midway. So I think uh, 17 minutes uh, of the episodes was like aired and they kind of said that the rest of the episode will be aired later on because like of the earthquake and everything so it was delayed and that's why like uh, like three-fourths of the episodes were was out in the previous week so I decided to uh, like react to both the episodes when they come out and today like I'll be doing that uh, both episode number 14 and 15 I'll be reacting to it in the same video so like this is like a two uh, you know two episode reaction uh, in this video so yeah anyways so uh, in the previous episode that is episode number 13 um, like uh, Gabi like we saw Gabi kind of you know like as usual as like she does like she kind of went off in front of Nicolo how she uh, like killed a so-called devil that is Sasha and like we knew like uh, Nicola was going to uh, like flow into range uh, rage because of that and she like he was all like he was going to kill Gabi which thankfully Mr. Browse stopped uh, in the nick of time and Kaya came to know that Gabi was the one who kills us and I don't think Kaya will be able to forgive her you know because it's like quite a betrayal because like she really like cared for Sasha and uh, uh, <laughs> Yeah, Sasha, and like also in the same time, like Gabi was kind of like a new friend to her, so like it's like a betrayal to her. But let's see. And uh, then in the later part of the episode, uh, a shocking thing happened. That is the whole like Zeke's blood uh, and the thing with the uh, you know like uh, Nicola was told to distribute it through the wines uh, to the MPs, the upper you know upper people, and that was according to the plan of the Jaegerists. And later on, Eren also turned like came in the scene, and Eren was probably going to talk to Armin and Mikasa about something, which was like the end of the episode. So let's see what uh, conversation they have, like Eren and Mikasa and Armin. So without further ado, let's get started with episode number fourteen of Attack on Titan, uh, the final season. So all right, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is a preference, and let's get started. All right, so here's a countdown. Three, two, one, go. Oh boy. This is example of one of the like best timings, you know, like peak of the devil and he appears. <laughs> That's what's going to happen now. <laughs> yeah, and there he is. <laughs> oh boy, he's like, ah, uh, like, don't you dare scream or I'll transform. <laughs> like, this is like Aaron's, like, you know, uh, what, what do you call? Uh, way of intimidating others. Just cut your hand open. And show them that. <laughs> and, yeah, that's it. That's all that's needed. Oh boy. Okay, so um, the season is 16 episodes, isn't it? This is the 14th episode. Next will be the 15th episode. I doubt the story will end like this. So I'm guessing. Um, we'll get more of Attack on Titan because I was under the impression this was going to be the final season, you know, the final, that's the end. But it turns out, I don't think it's going to end like this because a lot of questions are left to be answered and a lot of things, I think, like, are left. And so I'm guessing maybe we're going to get some movie or some another new season or something 
I don't know. So why the hell did they even like you know uh, name this the final season? Like what? Confusing. Okay, let's see what conversation Aaron has. Savagery. Oh, okay. Oh my god, Casa is like. Damn. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, like. Um, okay. But so you're saying it's not because of Zeke's influence, is it? Yeah, like that's the question. Okay. Oh boy. Oh no. Okay, what did he say? What? What the? Oh, is he saying that it's because of Berthold? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking. Like he's going to say this. You know, better liked Annie. Oh my god. Okay, well, um. What? Why? What? Wait a minute. Yeah, like how the... Yeah, so what about his actions? Like, he was the one who... Like... Like, Ellen wrapped that muffler around her. Come on to her. What? When their old self... Wait a minute. Oh, time goes back. What? I don't believe that. No, I don't believe that. Oh! Oh my god!
Oh, damn. Oh, God damn. Oh my god, oh wait a minute, I'll, we'll, I'll have to think about this later on. What do you want Okay. Oh boy, okay, <laughs> seven times, great. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Levi's not happy. Damn, like, I'm guessing Aaron is going to come now. Yeah. Oh! What the? I was also sixteen. Like what? She he's just. Oh my God! Yeah, the wine. Oh, great! Wow. That's why he was asking about the wine. Like, is it over? Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> this was the plan. Yeah. <sighs> the side effect of freezing, I think. All the Eldians. Oh my god. God damn, what the hell? Yeah. Damn.
Levi didn't have the wine. Or did he? Yeah. Oh god. Yeah, I'm a little bit confused here. I'm going to talk about it later on. Oh my god. Come on, come on. Yeah. There you go. Come on. I, I don't know who to believe and who to not, not to believe. Like, it's feeling as if... Ha! You forgot! You forgot who Levi is! Zeke! He made the same mistake again by underestimating Levi. Come on, come on! Oh! <laughs> Let's see, the second round. I'm sure Zeke will win, uh, not Zeke, uh, Levi will win again, come on! Oh, he has the... Uh... Come on! Damn! You're gonna get what you deserve, Zeke, like soon. <laughs> yeah, come on! Big mistake, Zeke. Come on, come on. I hope Aaron doesn't come in now. Like, that's the one thing that I don't want. Like, yes, come on. Okay, now, <laughs> take him out. There you go. Well, that was easy. <laughs> oh, what? Hmm. Oh my god, no one's like interested. <laughs> well, that's not the point here, you know.
Oh my god, here we go. Oh great. Um <sighs> Great. And they're going to j jump ship now. They're going to jump ship, I'm sure. God damn. Well, your aim sucked then. Like, what the hell? You're just in front of him. Ugh. Yeah, I knew this was going Wow. <laughs> Great. Most of them are going to jump ship now. Uh, okay, well. Yep. Yeah, that's going to happen. And the others will follow now. Wow, these, these things are not like, like, what? Flock is like taking like too many liberties now. Yeah, like, I think Flock is... What the hell? Like... Okay, Flock is annoying me now, like... God damn, this is... Oh, wow. God damn. Yeah, and that's painful. Yeah, was it part of the plan as well? Damn. Oh boy. Uh yeah, and he's healing again. That's a painful thing, you know? Like mm. I really don't understand why did he like this is one question I already always had why did he Oh that I thought that was his dad
Okay. Oh my god. Wow. Well, like I I I was going to like talk about something else like um when they were like showing them, you know, throwing that ball. Um I thought that was, you know, Grisha. But it turns out it was someone else. Like I because I thought that it was Grisha, I was going to talk about the thing that why did, you know, like Zeke you know, uh make his parents like uh like told the, everyone like told his grandparents about how his parents are betraying the marlians and uh, made them like uh, uh, get arrested and stuff happened like if his intention was you know like the like if he was the allies of the eldians then why did he even do that like that's one big question i always have i don't know because he was quite young at that moment like like why did he take that decision to like hand over his parents to the police i don't know like zeke is really you know like filled with mysteries we still don't know what the hell he wants why even and if like the things that he is saying are even if it's true like is it actually true or not like Ah, like anyways okay uh, i'm going to start the next episode but before that let me just uh, like you know like talk about this episode a little bit because there were a few things that i uh, like needed to talk about the first thing uh, being the whole like eren accusing mikasa about the uh, like the ackerman blood now at the beginning i was really not like buying it you know uh, like as eren was saying that like you, because you are an ackerman uh, like you uh, are like your host or whatever like the person you are in charge of protecting that is me because i got into trouble at that moment and i like ordered you to fight because of that like you like got like that uh, like you know you attacked the uh, burglars and like each and every time that was, that is what happened like everything was according to the orders that i gave it was not of your free will and that's what i hate the most uh, being a slave not being free all according to eren now in the beginning i was really skeptical about this like i was thinking like what the hell is he even talking about like at this point like what and i was thinking like maybe eren is just you know like mistaking this thing like uh, I don't know like I was thinking like that but then when suddenly like Armin went to punch him Mikasa without even like you know like uh, batting an eyelid she stopped Armin like that and in pretty brutal way she stopped him like it's not that like Mikasa like stopped Armin and said like stop Armin or like just you know kind of tapped him in the back or like uh, like you know caught Armin's jacket or something to stop him no not like that she completely like you know got up and like you know like made like a like a, a flashy move and stopped armin and locked the hands uh, his hands in uh with her her and was, like that was some thing that made me think that is like is it really true like like is that the thing but even like okay like i i take what Aaron is telling as the truth even if it is the uh, like fact that yeah Eren was the one who gave the orders because like he is uh, like Ackermans are like in charge of so, like serving the royal family and <clears throat> because of that that's why like uh, Mikasa helped her him so much okay I understand but that does not negate the feelings she had uh, she has you know uh, like that does not negate that feeling so like uh but according to Aaron, like she hates mikasa which i doubt i don't know but i do not believe that statement that Aaron said that yeah like i hated you from the beginning no i do not believe that uh, i think like i i think that's like some crap that Aaron is speaking and i'm not sure you know like uh, what can i say like what is his actual plan but like in a few like in the next scene we see Eren looking outside the window in a you know in a weird way and like it seems as if like, like he's melancholic at that moment and he must be thinking of some stuff i'm not sure so like according to me um that was just an act that Eren put up 
uh i don't know or maybe aaron really is like has become like that i'm not sure but i think like that as like uh, like most of the things that he said to mikasa and armin were in fact lies that he made up just to you know like make it feel as if like yeah i'm the bad guy that's what aaron is doing aaron is trying to take up all the sins that they have to you know uh, that they have to commit uh, like you know like what can i say like he's trying to do all the bad things that all of the others have to do if they want to win the whole thing like you know the whole thing with uh, like when they went to uh, when he went to the marlian territory and killed all of the uh, you know the uh, innocent people as well uh, that and like everything like he is dirtying his hands and i think like uh, the reason behind that is like he does not want the others to dirty their hands like it's like the way he's thinking i think is like like everything will be okay i'm going to become the baddest person alive and i'm going to like commit all the you know sins that a person can probably commit i'll do everything to win this whole thing so that you know like uh, so that uh, we are free so that we can become free like so he is going down that path like he has become like like he is uh, you know taking all the what can i say like all of the sins that uh, others would have had to commit if he did not do it in their uh, you know like in their place i'm probably unable to like explain this properly but i think it's something like that i'm not sure because the way he is acting is too weird like aaron you know like one thing that really struck me in this episode was when he said to mikasa that i've hated you from the beginning i refuse to believe that you know i refuse to believe that from the from three like for three seasons we've seen aaron and i refuse to believe that he has hated mikasa from the first episode of season 1 i refuse to believe that i do not believe that so i think it's just something that he is trying to like you know he's trying to become the bad guy so that others will like you know like cut all their bond with him or something like that so that he can uh like in his own way try to uh make uh, like gain freedom for them because like up until now he has not harmed any of the you know like people that is in their side he has not harmed them so i think that is it uh, like you know thing that he's trying to do i'm i'm not sure <coughs> but one thing i i i don't know like i feel is happening is flock is taking too many liberties like he is like i doubt aaron told him to beat uh, kitab i i'm not sure i doubt that i think that's just a decision that he took at that moment so like i don't know like i i like i never liked flock from the beginning and i have to say like in season 3 when, when he was first introduced i did not like flock at all like i don't know like something like rubbed me the wrong way that like he was like behaving so like i'm not sure if this is some kind of uh like i don't know like maybe he'll like we'll see that he also I, i'm not sure like maybe we'll see also that he also has some kind of a reason for doing this or something and it turns out to he turns out to be a really good guy if that happens then it's okay but up until now i really am not finding any reason to like flock because like i don't know like he he like i, I don't like him and yeah like okay i get it like uh, he was like tasked to go and like recruit more people and uh, i like then like why like beat up keith for that reason like just to uh, make them you know like gain morale or uh, like not gain morale but like i think like the reason why he said them to beat up keith is so that like if they beat up keith it will be like like oh you guys are on our side now you cannot go back like that's that's it like the moment they hit keith that was it for them like they are the yegris from then on like they cannot turn back from that moment i think because of that reason as well but still like i do not like the fact that like so many people ganged up on keith just like that just for the sake of the yegris and anyways like enough about flock 
<coughs> and the main portion, <coughs> the main thing of this episode was Zeke versus the Beast Titan again, and round two also was favorable for like Levi. And I th- <laughs> like I feel bad for Zeke in a way because it's like he like has all of these plans and like he's trying to do it and he is like everything mapped out and he thinks that he's going to win and both the times in the previous season and this season as well levi comes in and <laughs> throws water in his like you know in the in, his, in the plan that he plans that he made and he gets beaten up so easily <laughs> like it's like a level, levi is like a level 100 character and zeke is a level 1 character uh, like you know like the way <laughs> like levi beats up zeke each and every time <laughs> Oh my god, that's funny, you know. <laughs> like I thought maybe in this episode he's going to put like put up some fight, you know. But no, turns out no, Levi is too damn strong for him. Like he couldn't even do anything in this episode. <laughs> and just like that he just like lost and like <laughs> Oh my god, like I love that. And I'm still not sure what to feel about Zeke. I I, I think like there is something with him as well, like some kind of uh hidden plan or some like some reason why he's doing all of these things it might be you know evil or it might be good i'm still not unable to like judge him properly but the fact does not change that because of him as levi said that a lot of their comrades are dead uh like Aaron is dead and like so many people are dead because of zeke and that's one thing even if like his uh, main intentions are the good for the aliens even if that is the case that's one thing that I and all, I, I'm sure like Levi won't be able to forgive him for and yeah so like that's one thing that is like you cannot forgive him for so I'm still not sure like the way he was talking in this episode as to like he was saying that uh, Levi like he, like he was like monologuing like he was saying that Levi like you don't even know what's going to happen now every like all of the people will be up on uh, like you know will try to attack Eldia it will be a mess like I think like that was something like like he was saying uh because he wanted to like i don't know like i'm still confused you know I, like at least i think that he wants the good for the eldians i hope that's the case that he is not tricking them in that department but still that does not you know negate the factor that he because of him a lot of people died from our side like that's one sin that he committed and like he needs to get uh, like proper punishment for that so yeah <clears throat> that and is there anything else no oh also another thing um in the end there's this person uh who was playing with zeke um i'm not sure what what that and he's wearing a glasses so i'm, I'm i think that zeke wears that glass always in his eyes okay so this guy says that ever thought about playing baseball and he says like he's like uh like thinking all of these like getting flashbacks he's saying that i can't mr saver xava as like he says xava <laughs> these names god damn all right xava and I have a mission. Alright, like, this is quite confusing. Like, I guess, like, he really, like, respected that person or, like, he was really fond of that person. Because, obviously, like, he, like, wears his glasses and when he was playing that, like, baseball, it seemed as if he really looks up to him. And I don't know, like, he says that he has a mission. Like, a few, like, uh, questions came up for the last scene because of the last scene. I'm sure we'll like get clarification as the episodes go on. So, anyways, I'm going to start. <coughs> excuse me, episode number fifteen of. Wait a second. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay, so that was episode number fourteen. Yeah. So we'll be starting episode number fifteen of Attack on Titan. So as always, I'll be putting the subtitles and the time right here. Sync it to whichever is a preference, and let's get started. All right. So here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go.
Hmm. Oh, this is past. This is Grisha and Dina. Okay. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Wow. What the hell? Wow. Huh. <clears throat> yeah, my, you know, the thing that I was thinking, like, it's kind of getting confirmed here. So that means, like, Zeke, you know, like, it's also kind of like doing stuff like Aaron, like committing stuff that he should not do because of the, you know, like the plan or the ultimate result. Like, I think he also wants to liberate everyone. <clears throat> but the method that he is going, like, you know, like doing <clears throat> is evil. <clears throat> Just like how Aaron is doing stuff now. Like Zeke was doing that from the beginning. The first thing that he did was most probably like handing over his parents. Which is like one of the like most twisted thing that he did most probably. <clears throat> okay, I I'm sure we'll get some like, you know, confirmation in this episode. Like what the hell is up with Zeke? Okay. Soul salvation. Oh no, it's Jaeger. Uh, Zeke. Oh, this is that person, Seva, Seva, what is her name? <clears throat> hmm. Uh, and they were doing like I doubt I don't know like He's like, yeah, I know, like, actual history. Hmm. 
Oh, his like it would have been his aunt, wouldn't it? Yeah, if she was alive. Oh, damn. Okay. Yep, they're honorary Marlians. And here we go. Yep, this also like made it stressful for Zeke. Oh my god. <sighs> oh, this is that that guy, Xavar. <clears throat> Oh, uh, okay. Oh, he was a beast titan! Oh, okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> hmm. that they can okay I'll lose in like okay oh god wow Damn, like... Yeah, he's... Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 
All right. Okay, he like he has the mentality of a researcher. <laughs> Oh. Is is this the reason he's going to like turn them in? Oh, wait a minute. Oh my god. Okay, so he's told it to Safa. Safa. Okay, so. Yeah, like he's going to say that. And they meant even make him a warrior. Yeah, and that. Yeah, his his time is coming, you know. Yeah, that's why like he. Oh, Annie. Things. part of wait 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 hunting
Oh no. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, you're the key to the lock, yeah. Yep. That father. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, ah. 
organization. Oh God. Oh my God. Oh, Levi, move, Levi. What the hell? Oh my god. Okay, I have a few things to discuss. I am a little confused about a few stuff, but I think I got the main thing that uh, Zeke was trying to, you know, do. Okay, so the main thing here is he does not want aliens to bear any children is that the reason like okay I, I have to check that portion again like i understand now that uh like like zeke's actual you know like motivation what it is and why he handed over his parents to the police but you know the actual plan i have to like go through that portion again because okay i'll check that portion again because i feel like we got a lot of information in this episode which i like at least i am not properly able to gauge fully i'll have to check it again you know Okay, here, here's the thing where it turns like completely. Okay, here it is. <laughs> Just a sec, guys. Okay, so here it is. Like he says that can the founding titan, uh, okay, the founding titan uh, make it so subjects of Ymir can't bear children. Okay, no, uh, okay, let me just go a little bit before because like uh, Zava was talking about something uh, like about the like disease or something. Uh, like here it is like uh, where it is, where is it? Okay, around 600 years ago, a terrible pandemic devastated the population. Okay. And then, uh, but all of a sudden, the disease just vanished from the Elden Empire. Okay, it vanished. The king at that time used a founding titan to change how their bodies worked. No matter where you go, we subjects of Yumi are like part of the founding titan. Okay, so is this the reason why they're able to control, you know, like the found whoever has the founding titan is able to control all of the other, like, you know, yeah, subjects of Yimi, like there's this, you know, this thing that like kind of branches out, like whenever, uh, like uh, the founding titans, you know, like does something, uh, like uh, orders them or something. Uh, okay. Um. Wait a minute. Maybe. Um. Okay, is that also the reason why they need to come into contact with uh one of the royal family blood, uh, like a person who has the royal uh like blood, I think. Like, you know, the founding titan and the, like, person with a royal uh, bloodline. Like, so, like, when they come into contact, is that the reason why they're able to, like, order all of the other subjects of Yumi? Because, you know, like, they are somehow, like, uh, as he said, that we are, like, we subjects of Yumi are, like, a part of the founding titan. Like, they're, like, a part of it. Like, uh, like you know, like a, like a branch. 
that's like coming from one like one coordinate as they say you know like one coordinate it's like branches okay i think so okay so like he's like says that and then like zeke like gives a proposition he says that can the founding titan make it so subjects of ymir can't bear children like you know like uh, like as he like completely uh, like destroyed that disease within all of the other LD, like uh, subjects of Ymir, can he do that so that like they can bear any more children? Okay, and then, um, if none of us were able to have kids, Titans would be wiped out in a hundred years. Okay, so yeah, like the thing that I was thinking is true. The world won't have to fear or be threatened by Titans anymore. What's more, if we hadn't been born, we wouldn't have had to suffer. Okay, so yeah, like, the, so that is like, it's a really twisted way of th thinking, you know? Like, he's saying that, like, if we have not been, if we wouldn't have been born, we wouldn't have to, like, suffer like this. So, like, if we can, like, you know, make it as if, like, all of the, like, uh, subjects of Yumi can't have children anymore, then like titans will get like destroyed like uh, eventually and like the like there will be no more uh, like people born you know like uh, from aliens like according to him like like you know being born uh, in an alien family is like completely something that is like uh, what can i say like it's one of the worst thing which is quite true so for him like uh, for everyone uh, like it's better not to be born at all so he like his thought process is like this i i it took a little it took a little bit of time for me to actually realize what the hell was he actually talking about because his way of thinking is so so twisted that <laughs> like when like watching the scene play out i really was unable to understand what he's trying to say oh my god okay so wow like and then like uh, Savar like says uh, the whole uh, like thing that would happen with his family and all and okay so here it is uh, and then like Zeke makes a like takes a like oath he says that I'll inherit the beast titan okay not from Marley but to retake the founding titan and save the world yeah because according to him like if like someone has the founding cat and, and he like works with him then he will be able to like uh, like make the plan successful that he has i'll free the world from the terror of titans uh, and free all the eldians from suffering by like you know like not being born at all like that's his like plan damn okay and then we uh, like and then like then he talks about the like i haven't told malian before like the way uh, to break the vow renouncing war and as luck would have it it's only possible because it's you obviously because zeke has royal blood okay if a titan with the royal blood comes in contact with the founding titan okay uh if the if a titan with royal blood comes in contact with the wait a minute this doesn't sound right because okay the first time when uh, Aaron came into contact with like he's saying if a titan with royal blood comes in contact with the founding titan okay the first time that happened was when uh, Aaron who was the founding titan uh, like came to contact with the Diana who was had the royal blood and who was a titan okay that happened and uh, like okay like that's okay then the next time that happened, the same thing happened was when uh, Aaron came into contact with Historia. Historia was not a titan. She was a normal, you know, human being. So why did that happen? Like, like, is this some kind of a translation mistake? Like, let me just listen. Just a sec, guys. Okay. No, they, he's saying that Kyojin. So that means, like, if a titan with the royal blood, like he like uh, says Kyojin both times, 
while referring to the founding titan and the person with the royal blood okay is this some i don't know like story was not a titan at that moment okay let me just like you know say what he's saying after this uh, if they come into contact it's possible to draw out its power however the power isn't yours to use that right lies with the founding titan yeah he's saying that like the person who is going who will be able to use the founding titan's power is a person or not a person but a titan who who comes into contact with the uh, titan which who has royal blood in him or her the first time that happened i can understand that because diana was a titan at that moment and she had the royal blood in her and eren came into contact with her but the next time when eren you know like when they were like having that coronation ceremony i think i am not sure like everyone was like kind of like saluting and like bowing before historia and historia like touched them or something and uh, while like wait, when she touched eren eren remembered everything and like this like shock came within him i'm guessing that is the like at, yeah like at that moment if he like like ordered the other titans they would have you know uh listened to him i'm guessing that means the power activated then but history was not a titan at that moment like not a, not in a, at that moment like history is not a titan so how did that happen i don't know like i kind of like went on a tangent like because like this is not what i was trying to like you know uh understand like i was trying to understand something else but suddenly this came in i'm not sure if this is anyways let's just watch uh, okay so yeah and then he says essentially you are the key to the lock yeah like zeke needs to needs to be there and there needs to be a person who he trusts who has a founding titan founding titan needs to be someone you trust someone who understands our euthanization plan okay i really what does euthanization mean like they're kind of bringing that term up euthanization mean um euthanization uh, to kill an animal because it's very old or sick or because it's what there's no one to take care of it what oh so oh so like uh, it's like s s someone is like you know uh, extremely like in pain and like like is unable to die or something like you know like it's really uh, like in old age or something uh, like animals especially like if they are like sick and very old and like they're suffering continually and you cannot like you know like 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 you know bear it anymore so you euthanize them like it's like you're like saying that yeah like like you know like bring them out of their misery by killing them it's something like that oh yeah so yeah the the term kind of fits here because like you know they're like thinking about like so that the subjects of yumi won't be able to like have kids anymore like it's basically like they're telling them uh, like they're raised to completely die something like that so that like no other people are born who are like who can who who will suffer like this and so that like no other titans are born as well okay so okay that happens and then like he gets to know about uh like Eren and like uh like he's like meets Eren and says that i'll rescue you you're brainwashed by your dad and then uh he meets Eren when Eren comes into the marlian territory and now here's the other part which i have to understand properly okay uh zeke and Eren is talking and okay my stance is exactly what yelena told you um do you support the eldian euthanization plan okay so he told elena to yelen to say like you know like uh, explain the plan to erin okay and four years ago some of dad's memories opened up to me okay yeah we saw that memories of when he slaughtered the walls royal family <clears throat> He crushed their little kids and smeared them li like bugs. I felt it too. Okay. If those kids lived, the royal family would retake the founding titan. Yeah, and they would again like renounce war and like no nothing would have changed. 
bound by the vow renouncing war humanity in the walls would be doomed yeah they'll like keep continuing to do that like not waging war and like they'll keep the status quo and like they're only going to get you know like attacked they'll only be in the defensive all right those kids dying is what let us live okay i see so you believe that father was right okay uh, no he was wrong and i the son that he raised was wrong too if eldians hadn't been born this city these people wouldn't have to die in this plan of ours there's no greater salvation that than never being born in this world okay so he's saying that if these people if these eldians have not been born at all then they wouldn't have to die and they wouldn't have to become like the sacrifices of our plan which we're going to do that is like this euthanization that we're going to do i'll do it i'll put an end to the 2000 years of titan domination one thing i really am not understanding they like they are putting their you know uh like main goal of like like destroying all titans but that's not the problem here the problem here is the marlians why are they so fixated on like ending all the titans i really am unable to understand that like is it like like they're saying that yeah we'll end all the titans so that the marlians aren't able to exploit them is it something like that like i don't know like i feel the plan has some kind of something missing with it because they're saying that uh, what they're going to do like according to them is like there's like this one th like you know one nation that's uh, like oppressing us that's the marlians and we the eldians are being oppressed so like what should we do to get out of that situation we die like that's basically what they're saying isn't it like they're saying that we'll die and like no titans would be born and then like uh like you know like we won't be able to have any more kids who will also be saved those fictional kids who would have been born if we were alive like i don't know this this plan seems weird like they are not even like talking about the marlins just just saying that yeah the marlins are oppressing us we're being oppressed like it's suffering to live in this world so if we die and like if no one is else is born then no one would have to suffer like what like like this is a plan i really am unable to understand like why like i don't know like i think like you know um uh grisha like Aaron's dad's plan like his plan was to like you know like okay, get that founding titan and like wage war or something and like stop them stop the marlians it was something like that isn't it like that's more sensible than the plan that they're making now like like kill ourselves so that like no other people are born and will be saved it's something like that like oh my god i don't know like like i i, I like i've been found, finding it really weird that they're all like talking about how to end the end like end the titan domination and the titans but they're not even acknowledging the fact that the marlins are the actual problem here like it's like we'll die so that the marlins can have their way like you know like if like if all the aliens like if the plan goes on like this i'm not really sure is this is what they're trying to do isn't it or am i mistaking something if i'm mistaking something please be sure to correct me down in the comments because that's how i interpreted their you know their actual uh plan which is really weird i i don't know like like if what they're trying to do is like end the titan domination like all the titans will end there will be no more titan like uh, like aliens like as i said that like no more aliens will give birth or something i don't know like it's like like the marlins will have everything that means like they'll be able to come to uh, paris island to take the resources and everything and they'll get what they want and it'll be like it's it's as if like they're just surrendering I think I must be misinterpreting something I, like aren't I like this must not be the plan like I don't know like as far as I could like follow like the things that they were saying I think that is what they're trying to say this whole episode but like you know like 
like this is just like they're surrendering like like uh, it's just like they're saying that yeah like we should die so that we don't have to suffer which is really weird like a weird plan okay and then the next thing that zeke does is like does is like he commits kind of like commits a suicide and i'm not sure if he will be saved from this because obviously he's a titan he can regenerate but it's quite deep i'm guessing the whole like uh like he kind of blew himself up so okay like the next thing that he says is uh like levi says compared to how you stole the lives of my comrades it sounds like a pleasant way to die okay and zeke says i didn't steal life i saved lives the lives of the children they would bear from this cruel world yeah like according to him like his thought process is like uh, yeah they're dead so they won't be able to have any more children which is like you know like which means that i've saved those children those children who like you know like who you don't even know if you would have been born like who knows like the people he killed if each and every one was dare i <laughs> like this is like, just some like example that i'm saying like if each and every one of them wouldn't be able to have children then who are they he saving you know like they wouldn't even have any children in the future so who are you saving you just killed people like you're saying that the children who would have been born would have been born in the future which you don't even know if they would be born or like something else would happen and like uh, i don't know like it's it's a weird plan like i i i, I really am unable to understand the the thought process like what the hell is this way of thinking and Aaron also like wants to do what like zeke wants to do like i don't know like what oh my god this is weird like if like my interpretation of this episode is correct then this is weird if i am mistaking something then it's probably you know like <laughs> my inability to understand what they're actually trying to say so like you know if i'm wrong be like, definitely be sure to correct me down in the comment section oh my god it's taking quite a long while for this episode like i like like I'm just like seeing if is there something I missed or something. And okay, so one thing I really did not talk about is like the whole Grisha's kind of like uh like you know pressuring Zeke. Like that was a little bit too much, you know. And uh yeah, like he like I think that is like the main thing that kind of pushed Zeke to the edge. Like he just like was always like yeah like marlians like we need to teach the marlians a lesson and everything and they forgot that they were the actual parents of zeke and they just like wanted him to fulfill the mission that he himself was unable to do like it's like you know there's like a few parents like this who like always like pressures their child to you know like do something that he or she has been unable to do in his or her life he always says that yeah like you have to do this you have to do this and kind of pressures him or her like it's something like that which is quite sad you know yeah and like i can kind of understand so like uh, as i was saying like uh the reason why like zeke handed over his parents to the authorities is because of this he was afraid he was afraid that you know like as like uh Sabar also say that yeah, you like report them to the authorities at least you'll be able to live if they're like you know like captured something like that so i'm sure like after that he gained a lot of reputation of being a good like you know on like uh what can i say like a loyal marlian or something like that and that's why he was able to inherit the beast titan later on like no one uh like you know like no one said anything against him. Ah, <sighs> damn. So I was like saying this before this episode that I really am unable to understand what Zeke is actually trying to do and whether like he is uh, like his intentions are good or not. This episode made me really confused as like I am like now 
I'm more confused about his intentions and uh, like not his intentions, but if his intentions are correct, like right or wrong. Like, you know, like I at least thought that the intentions like he and Aaron has must be something, you know, for the greater good or for the like good which will happen in the future. Something like that, which like which does not like uh, negate the bad things that they have they're doing, obviously. But I thought like maybe like I'll be able to kind of say that oh like they are at least doing this for like the future which will help in some way. But like their plan is really weird. I don't know like their their plan seems as if like it's something. Ugh, I don't know. I think I might might be like misinterpreting something. Otherwise, like if the plan is really like as I explained. I don't know what to say, but yeah. So yeah, guys, that's it. That was this episode. Um, <laughs> like <laughs> this episode is quite, you know, as I said, like, uh, quite confusing and weird. And I'm not even sure if I'm, uh, you know, like being able to uh, interpret it properly. But yeah. Okay, let me just check this information if they have some. In research concerning the unique power of the subjects of Ymir to become titans, a field of study since uh, the era of Elden Empire it encom it encompasses not only the biology of titans themselves but also the ideologies of Eldians who possess the power and how to deal with them. To research extensively over many years, uh, the truth of the titan. Oh, okay, it's nothing else. And yeah, like. weird episode okay another thing i need to check is like i missed it in the previous episode episode number 14 is the information that it gave in that episode okay this i really want to like uh, read a red wine okay uh, spinal fluid wine a red wine produced in marley with zeke wonder boy jaeger's spinal fluid mixed in okay after consuming zeke's spinal fluid and hearing the scream his scream subjects of Yumi will turn into Pure titans who obey their orders. The wine and the titans have proven to be a cheap and effective way to conquer the enemy nations. Wait a minute. Oh, I was quite confused at this, you know, like I was thinking like when Zeke screamed, all of them like who drank the wine turned into titans, didn't they? I was thinking like why are the other people who have also drank that wine like you know who are like somewhere else why did they not turn into titans it turns out like here it is like the the people who will hear his scream oh that means like those who will hear his scream they'll turn into titans and like the other people who have drunk the wine who are somewhere else they obviously they cannot hear his scream because they're at a long distance so that's why they only felt a shock in within them. That was just it. So his scream kind of made the people who are beside him turn into titans. If someone who has drunk the wine who is somewhere else, you know, if that person was also in this place, uh, like around Zeke, he would have also turned into a titan, that means. Okay, I think it's something like that. I was really confused at that. I was thinking like if that is the case, then why did the other people who felt a shock within them, why did they not turn into titans? So only the people who has who is hearing this like you know scream who are beside Zeke they'll turn into titans. So as I said, like it's like uh like a cheap and effective wep well, weapon to conquer enemy nations. Okay. All right. So and that kind of like explains it. Okay. So that's it, guys. So that is the, the these two episodes, episode fourteen and fifteen. A lot of information at the same time. And like as I said, if I am wrong about anything. Be sure to write me down in the comments because like this is the way I interpreted the whole episode and I don't know like their plan sounds like pretty weird to me. So like either I am wrong about interpreting it and there is something else or their plan is like actually really weird. Like, like it is a fact that it is weird because I don't know like, like this plan sounds really unusual to me. So yeah anyways guys so thank you guys for watching so this is episode number 15 of attack on titan and like 15 and 14 
so like next week will be i'm guessing the last episode of this this season because i doubt it's going to end like this and there must be something else left so like that will be the end of this final season i don't know why they named it final season if it is not the final season <laughs> i don't know so yeah we'll probably get to know in the next episode so thank you guys for watching and uh, okay so uh, like this video if you enjoyed my reaction uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed please consider doing so because it helps a lot uh, and it'll help me get monetized and also be sure to comment down below uh, as i said like if i'm wrong about anything be sure to comment me down comment down below and uh, like please no spoilers but feel free to comment down below and yeah guys so i'll be back with another attack on titan episode next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day